Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I've got a continuation of the small loft squat program. Now this is day four, still week one. No, this is not week two. This is week two, day one, uh, which is in total day four. So today I've got a one by five at, uh, I believe 80% which is uh, interesting because it's only one set of five repetitions so i think i'm going to do something a little bit different i'm going to start off at one by five at 80 percent which is 395 and then i'm thinking about doing like maybe two to four more sets with uh possibly 405 de depending on how i feel um and just one thing to keep in mind the better uh prepared you are for the base cycle the better it is so the the more you push yourself on the introductory cycle the smoother and the better the base cycle will go for you so if the one by five if you guys are on the one by five right now um and it's it's an easy day you know what i mean like you feel good you're, you're chilling i'd highly recommend you guys go to five to ten pounds more um than what you're supposed to be doing if you can just go as heavy as you can for as many sets as you can um because uh the base cycle is tough it's really really tough so um that's my plan for today now as I roll the clips, I also want to talk about something that a lot of you guys have a question about, and that is uh, what happens to the deadlift and the bench when you're doing the small loft squat program or a program similar to the small loft squat program, which is a great, great question. And inshallah, I can answer that for you guys. So what my plan is um, for now for the small loft program is kind of a modified program. Uh, it's not the small of 100%. So what I'm going to be doing is squatting on one day and then the next day I will be uh, benching and deadlifting and then the third day I'll be hitting arms and then the fourth day of the week I'll be squatting again and then um, benching just benching on the fifth day and then squatting again on the sixth day and then seventh day, seventh day is going to be off or if I really, really want to, you can hit arms or shoulders or something like that on the seventh day. So that's my plan. And what that's going to do is it's going to help split up um, your, your workouts, you know, in, in a better way. So you're not only focusing on squats. You're still deadlifting uh, once a week and you're benching twice a week. And then you're hitting arms if you really want to once or twice a week as well. So and then you're still squatting three times a week. Now, you're going to run into a problem on the base cycle because the base cycle, you're supposed to be squatting four times a week. Um, and if you want to do that, that's completely, you know, OK. But for me, I'm, I'm going to stick to three times a week and uh, just take it easy because f squatting four times a week is honestly way too much uh, for my body. And I know, just like I said in the last video, the small up is notorious. Uh, for injuries and for people getting injured and for people quitting or not being able to finish out the program so if you need to slow it down a little bit that's completely okay if you feel like your body's hurting you're not recovering enough it's too much stress on your body then take it down a notch don't be scared to take it down just a little bit um, you know instead of squatting four days you're squatting three days instead of doing 90% you're doing 87 and a half percent or 85 percent so it's not that big of a deal to really decrease uh, the intensity a little bit especially with the fact that the small love is a crazy program it's a really really intense program so don't feel bad if you have to reduce the frequency of your squatting or the percentages or the volume or anything like that it's okay i know some people will say you have to do every single rep every single set at the perfect percentage and the the same exact time you have to do three times a week or four times a week you really really don't have to you're gonna see results either way so i'm here to reassure you that if you miss a rep or if you miss a set it's going to be okay it's not going to it's not going to be the end of the world so um yeah keep keep your head up just keep working hard as hard as you can and uh inshallah i'm, I'm I, you guys are probably watching the workout right now but hopefully it's going good hopefully i'm about to take my pre-workout actually right now i hope that helps you guys um with the programming a little bit and one thing to also keep in mind actually that i didn't mention is uh, always go based off of how your body feels but keep in mind that the le the legs specifically specifically the legs okay this does not apply to any other body part it doesn't apply to your chest or to deadlifts or anything like that 
for for che- for legs and squats specifically you can overload your body a little bit you can push yourself beyond what you think you're capable of for example the last workout that i did i did not expect myself to actually hit 455 for for that one rep because my body was tired i was super super tired i was ready to give up throwing the towel you know in the first few sets but if you just push yourself you get that in that mentality that you can do it you will do it then then you know your legs can actually push a lot more than what you're what you think you're capable of so don't be scared um try to be confident when you're squatting and uh push yourself man just keep pushing yourself anyways i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video if it's not done if i haven't finished squatting yet um inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video make sure to like this uh video please it'll help me out so so much with the youtube algorithm we're growing we're, we're almost at 3500 subscribers so thank Thank you guys to each and every single one of you guys um, I, I read all the comments on all of my videos and I appreciate all the support that I get from you guys man you guys know who you are You're always uh, commenting and showing love so I appreciate you guys and uh, if you guys are new here please don't forget to subscribe and inshallah I'll see you guys next time peace all right guys so instead of doing three to five sets at a heavy weight I think I'm just gonna stick with my one set at uh, 385 or whatever it was and then three another set at 405 i'm happy with the fact that i got five repetitions alhamdulillah so now instead of um you know doing a couple more sets at 405 i think i'm just going to work on some explosive movements uh work on my athleticism explosiveness and then in two days pretty much after tomorrow i'm going to squat again a little bit heavier see if i can get it Maybe do a few more sets at 405, see if I'm feeling a little stronger. So that's the plan for today. Let's go do it.